In case you guys don't know, there is a new Windows Insider preview build out, 22557. Now, this is not an overstatement, this is not an understatement, overstatement, whatever. This is, this is true. This is a massive, massive update to Windows 11. This thing is huge, okay? Honestly, ridiculous. So, honestly, we are going to begin with the start menu. Now, here's the cool part. Start menu, you can now create folders. Right click, move to top. It's not fully functional yet. This is an insider build, but you get the point. We just bring that down. What happens if we hit move to top now? Yeah, so you can move the folders to top or you can rearrange them just like everything else. So that's the first thing. Um, I believe the second thing had to do with do not disturb. Sorry, I have to read this off my phone to give you guys the best video possible. So do not disturb is right here and you can set notifications uh, settings so you can set rules for when it turns on automatically or uh, other things like that, okay? Oh my. Need to get rid of that before that sends me into a dark depression. All right. Next, we have focus. So you can set the focus timer to 60 minutes, uh, probably a whole lot longer, probably as long as you want. 240 is the max. And the minimum is 15 minutes. So if you hit focus, basically you have this thing up here. You can get rid of it, of course, but congratulations. You can now focus on anything you want without interruption. It's kind of like do not disturb, I guess, but on crack. Now, moving on past focus, we are going for live captions. So I think it's Windows Control L and... Let me read this because I'm not sure I can get this to work. Live captions will help everyone, including people who are deaf or hard of hearing, better understand audio by viewing captions of spoken content. Captions are automatically generated on device from any content with audio. Captions can be displayed at the top or bottom of the screen. So this is supposed to integrate with stuff. I'm going to make sure that we're muted. Good, we are. And I'm going to try to open up Cider. And I want to see if the captions are really working or not. Um, position, captions, options, filter profanity. Include uh, that. Let's try this. Okay, see it's working at the top. So now that it's including my microphone, you can see anything that I say at the top of the page. That's not that bad. I like that. And it definitely helps uh, when you have issues with hearing and other stuff. So that's pretty cool. So next is you can add new file types pinned in quick access and file explorer. It says I said end? End. There we go. All right, so we open this up. We go here. Uh, you'll notice that I already have three things pinned. Now, to be able to pin something, you go to pictures, we're going to right click this and we're going to pin to quick access. And there it is. The GIF has been pinned. Not bad, huh? So that's another new feature. And another one that I'm not going to be able to show you is that OneDrive storage in File Explorer. You can now see how much space you have, uh, if files are being synced and other things like that. So it's been integrated if you have it installed. Okay, just in case you don't know, you can completely remove OneDrive. I love this thing. It's so pretty. Moving on to the next one, there are new touch gestures, and I'm not going to be able to show you these, but I will try to include the pictures that they have on the blog. You know what? Let's just go down to them right now. So first one is swipe to invoke and dismiss the start menu. As you can see, if you swipe up with a touch screen, it will invoke the start menu. Next is swipe to the right or left to get more pinned apps. I believe it's swipe to the left. Yeah, 
swipe to the right, no, swipe right to left from pinned to get all apps and swipe left to right to get pinned. Okay, there you go. Uh, this last one, what is it? Swipe to invoke and dismiss quick settings. I believe this one's broken, but you get the point. There we go, look. That's pretty cool. This is another one I'm not going to be able to show you. So pretty much um, in full screen touch oriented apps and games, uh, solitaire, notice a gripper. So one of these things, iOS has one of these, uh, will appear if you swipe. So if you swipe over, you could probably end up switching apps. All right. So the next one we're going to be dealing with is improving snapped layouts. So if we open up a window and we open up another window, we should be able to do this. So as you can see, it appears at the top and you're able to just uh, do what you normally do. Let's get device manager in there. And there you have it. It looks not that bad, honestly, and it runs pretty well for what it is. They've also included the animations. They're a lot smoother now than they were before. And honestly, I can see it. So thank you for that, Microsoft. But that's pretty cool. Uh, moving on from this, you have more suitable power settings. So if we go to power settings by right clicking the start uh, button and here, you're now going to see recommendations. OK, and you're also going to see power consumption and carbon emissions. So this is for all you hippies out there who love to try and save the environment. I am proud of you. OK, so there's been a narrator added to Microsoft Edge. Uh, I'm not a fan of narrators. I find them extremely annoying, but we're about to get to the big kahuna. Are you ready? So we're going to right click and we're going to go to task manager. And did it break? Why is it giving me the old task manager? What is it doing? <laughs> is this a joke? Please don't do this to me. The old task manager broke already. Oh. Really? Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, let me try something here. Okay. So, I love how it still starts minimized, though. Uh, there it is. But we need to restart this. Ready? Boom. And I'm also going to close this out. And then we're going to kill task manager itself so I believe it's at the top now and task yeah it's broken but they included the new task manager uh, in here let me try to show you it's right here uh, it looks beautiful it ran well and you're able to turn on what's called efficiency mode for apps as you can see right there uh, and there's a little button that says efficiency mode. So if you want notepad on efficiency mode, you click the app, you turn on efficiency mode and that's done. I'm a bit disappointed though, that it's not currently working. This is another thing I'm not going to be able to show you uh, PowerShell modules to provision languages and language related features. So it's a whole bunch of cool stuff for people that use different languages. Uh, this is another thing. Drag and drop support is now added. So if we open this and then we enable my desktop view, we minimize this. I believe it just does that. So there you go. And we're able to drag it where we need to drag it. So that's pretty cool that that's a thing. Um, this is a mode I don't have. But if your monitor has multiple uh, color profiles, you're able to change them now in this area right here. Also, there's a cast button. That would be the next one, as you can clearly see right there. As discovered by insiders, yeah. Um, the battery icon has been changed. Uh, it will now slowly charge as it goes up in real time, which is really cool. So I hope you enjoy that. This is a really cool one. So watch this, watch this. Uh, Windows 11 had this one major issue this whole time where you weren't able to see 
what was inside of your folders picture wise but now you can and they've done it in such a neat cool way that it looks really awesome so there's that um yeah don't care about that because i don't have outlook installed do i does it count outlook um where is it open with let's set how to do it oh you will need installed via the store okay well let's give this a shot let's go install this via the store and of course it's free and we're going to see if we can get this running now you may notice that i have canary version of edge installed and um that's for a reason do i not get to install this it won't let me install this how wooed all right well we can't install it now the canary version has something special going on uh windowing so if we just do what does it say alt tab look how cool that is that's much cleaner than before and it shows the visual snap groups too so i like that i'm i am sad though that we don't get to use um what we need so updating the transition animation i already told you about that uh if you have a surface device they are they will now rotate and it'll be much snappier and look more professional good job on that reduce the number of notification sounds it's now easier to move your cursor between the monitors by letting your cursor jump over areas we made some small changes to snapping options under system multitasking to help simplify them to make them easy to understand uh, narrator now provides a new male neutral voice called guy we introduced na natural voices in the new build so this is pretty cool so no more robotic crap they also have voice typing voice access and they've added this one this one i'm very impressed about so uh, we're expanding dynamic refresh rate um under graphics so they're allowing smoother scroll scrolling in office low latency inking when you move the cursor the system now boosts to 120 hertz making it feel better uh they've also added a low latency option in graphics for people who game in windowed mode you you weirdos which pretty much improves latency unlocks other exciting gaming features including uh hdr and variable refresh rate so and latency improvements can benefit all gamers this is great this actually helps uh guild wars 2 quite a bit anyway we're moving on um uh that looks horrible that looks better uh i like that one better this one looks cooler this one does look cooler this one's much more detailed i like this fart it's a lot better and this yeah they did improve a couple of emojis settings windows sandbox there's a bunch of whole other changes here uh you may notice that mika material is more title bar surfaces for example really so if we go to sorry yeah look at that it really is there so there's mika it's a type of blur not bad all right um fixes dash bar mm -hmm. there's just a whole bunch of fixes here um so they've also included some stuff in the new microsoft edge which pretty much means that you are able to have high refresh rate scrolling on my viewing screen this is smooth as ridiculously possible and if i go to somewhere with a lot of uh stuff on it it's actually much smoother because it does boost to 120. anyway um that's it guys thank you for watching the video i hope you did enjoy it uh there are so many more stuff to go over i guess but for now i just wanted to include the basics uh hit the like button share the video subscribe and this is one kick-ass build of windows 11. It is stable enough for you guys if you want to go try it in VM or update it, update it as your main uh, build of Windows, whatever you want. And I'll see you guys in the next video.
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I mean it. I do good content. Bye-bye.